going on, everybody? I'm Drake Hill here with Weight Work with Drake Hill. Uh, we're going to be doing some legs today. Usually before I start legs, I get some blood flowing into them, especially if I do them right when I wake up. Some blood flowing into the legs. Use a hit treadmill, maybe the bike, for about 10 minutes. So get a little bit of a warm up, and then we're going to go knock it out. So the first exercise we're going to knock out is the leg extension. Uh, I like to do all these before I get to the squats, the deadlifts, and the leg press. Uh, one of the things I am all about when it comes to lifting is controlling this exercise. And I've seen what gives me results is controlling the whole move. So usually I shoot for three to four sets of 10 to 12 reps on this. And it's all about control. So, you want to control the weight down. It's all about that time under tension. Get up, get them legs loosened up a little bit. So I really like doing these because it really gets knees warmed up, gets the blood flowing a little extra into your legs. That, that way by the time you get to squat, your legs are ready to go, you can burn it out, finish up your leg work. So one of the other things I wanted to discuss when it comes to leg extension is the placement of your toes when you're doing the movement. So there's three different ways you can do it. The traditional one is actually with your toes facing straight up. You can do them in and then you can do them out. So each position is gonna target different things. So today I'm actually gonna do them outward. So we're gonna target the teardrop of the quad, which is also gonna be the inner portion. So when you hold them in, you actually target the outer sweep of the quad. And what today we're going to do is we're going to focus on the inner portion. So when I do the move, I'm just going to have my feet pointed out like this. And everything is going to be controlled. So what you're going to notice, if you're used to holding your feet straight up, as soon as you switch it to maybe having your feet in or pointing out, you might feel that you're a little bit weaker and the reason being is because you're not used to targeting that specific section of the, the quad, that specific muscle. So now you're shifting your body up. But doing that and just changing up your foot placement or your toe placement, excuse me, you're gonna notice that it's gonna shock your body. So what you're gonna see is you're gonna start seeing extra results coming in. So what it'll look like, Squeeze at the top. That's what you want to go for. Squeeze once you get to the top. And control the weight down.
So if you don't have the lying leg curl machine, you could go ahead and use the leg extension machine just like I did. Move it so where you can put the pad at the back of your ankle. And you can do those leg curls just like that, standing up. I like to superset them with the seated leg curls. It's really effective. My hamstrings are thanking me right now. Moving right along into our leg workout. I like to incorporate deadlifts into them. Um, deadlifts, I do two of them. I either do a stiff leg deadlift, also known as the Romanian deadlift. Uh, or I'll do the full deadlift, which is activating the whole body. So I like to do the stiff leg deadlifts because I'm really trying to build up my hamstrings. So one of the things I'll do is I'll incorporate those into my leg workout. And then uh, next week I'll do the full deadlift. And then the week after that, what I'll do is I'll do stiff leg. And then I'll do that traditional deadlift as well in one workout routine. But today we're going to do the stiff leg deadlift. Um, so the thing about that, the way I do them, when I do the stiff leg, I don't activate my full body, especially if I still have a back workout to do later on in the week. I don't activate my full back, excuse me. So what I'll do is when I get to the up position, I'm probably right about here. And then I go back down and stretch out my hamstring. So when I do the traditional deadlifts, that's when you'll notice I'll come all the way up and lock out, activate my full back and go back down. So you're still working legs, but then you activate your full back. So I'm gonna hit these and we'll get at it. So when you're doing the deadlifts, one of the things I really want to stress is how you pick up the weight. So with deadlifts, all your power is going to be closer to your body. So when you're doing them, whatever weight you're using, you don't want to pick up this far out to where you're practically off balance trying to get the weight up. You want to have it in right up against your body, right up against your shins. That's where your power is going to be. So the other thing, even if you're doing stiff leg, don't just start off with a straight stand up. You're going to tear your back, your back up, especially the heavier weight you go. Use your legs to help you get going. You don't want your back rounded when you're picking up. You want your back straight. You want your back stiff, solid, all right? So, one of the things that you notice power lifters are getting ready for the move. By the time it gets in here, knees are bent like you're trying to sit down. Take some slack out of the bar and stand up through your legs, all right? So as you notice, my back didn't get activated until my legs are straight. Do that again. So, we're going to bring it in, right up against your shins, lock out, stand up with your legs, all right, protect your back, and as you see I'm wearing a belt, don't let your ego get in the way of your safety, all right. 
wear a belt, especially the heavier you go, especially the older you get. You need to watch yourself. Protect yourself. Put a belt on.